Hey everybody, this is Sala. I have a very interesting tutorial on HTML and CSS. We are going to program five different looks of a navbar using CSS Flexbox. And you see all the variations, all the looks on the screen right now, right? The amazing thing here is that we will write our HTML once for the lifetime. That means our HTML will always be the same while making these different looks. It sounds amazing, right? And this is possible using CSS Flexbox. In addition, the process is very simple. Just by using a couple of Flexbox properties, you can create these variations, these different looks. So let's now move on and set up the HTML. By the way, I'm using a logo in this tutorial. So you can use any logo, any picture if you wanna practice, or you can download the logo and all the program files from the link I put in the description. Okay, so we are coding a header or the navigation bar so we need a header container uh, with the class uh, flex container the first uh, flex item would be the logo the second flex item is navigation inside the navigation container with a class navigations And the last flex item is join button. So this is our entire HTML. We don't need to add anything here and we don't need to change the order of these elements while making different looks. At this time, this is the output in the browser. So our HTML is ready. Let's now start playing with the CSS. The first selector, as usual, I'm gonna reset some settings. After the reset, I will change the size of the logo and uh, our logo uh, has no class assigned. So we can assign a class, site logo, and now I will select site logo in the CSS. The width is 250 pixels. The site logo is our first uh, flex item and I'm gonna become our first uh, flex item and if I refresh the page you can see the size is applied after the logo I'm gonna style these navigations which are inside the navigations container text definition none Right, so I have applied some basic properties to the navigation button. Now apply some basic properties. So we wrote some very basic properties. Let's see the output, and here we have a button. So now we are good to go and play with the CSS flex. So this is gonna be our flex container, and when we apply flex to the header, all the children become flex items. So our image element, nav container, and the button gonna become the flex items. So in our CSS, I'm gonna target the flex container and I'll also target the uh, navigations container right so this is our uh, flex item and another flex item is our join button so these three are flex items and here is our flex container now to the container, I will first put some basic properties, background color, padding, and border radius. And if you refresh the page, this would be the result in the browser. Now we are gonna apply flex, display, flex, and flex direction set to row, and the align items is set to center. 
now you will see the result all the flex items are in a row and despite having different heights they are vertically centered let's now program the first loop you see that on the screen right to do so to the container we will apply justify content space around you can choose space around space between or space evenly now refresh the page and here we have our first look in the second look menus and the join button sits together to the right side so how do we do that without making any modification in the html so here is our logo which is a flex item first flex item uh, to the left what we are going to do here is we will apply margin right auto to the logo item so this is the right margin margin auto gonna push these menus down to the right side so when we refresh the page you're gonna see the difference right now in the third variation we are gonna put the join button before the menus so we want our join button to come before the menus so we are gonna apply the order property with value one to the join button and order value two to the navigations so here we are using the order property the element with the lowest order property comes first our join button has the order value one so it will come first and the navigation with order value two gonna place itself after the join button let's refresh the page and here you see the result right now in our fourth variation if you look closely our nav bar is totally reversed so in order to reverse the nav bar we will choose flex direction row reverse so the row reverse is going to reverse the placement of every flex items at the same time as we have changed the direction we need to change the margin from right to the left that we have applied to the logo as we refresh the page you will see all the changes right that was the fourth variation in the fifth and the last variation we are going to place the button before the navigations to do so we will again make the use of the order property but this time things are tricky what did i say earlier the element with the lowest order value comes first then the element with the highest order value and that is true because we have already seen the result but this time the order property is not working we want our join button before the navigation and our join button has already lower order value than the navigation so the join button should place itself before the navigation but it's not happening so why isn't happening you might know the reason and the reason is we have reversed the direction so as we have reversed the direction the order property will also work in reverse manner that means element with the highest order value will place itself first in the row so we want our navigations after the join button so it should have a value smaller than the join button value such as one and to the join button we can assign a higher value such as two that's it as i refresh the page you will see the button and the navigations gonna change their places so refresh the page and here you see the difference right so my friends in this tutorial we have covered five different navigation styles using flex without changing or making any modifications in the html i hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel i will see you around thanks for watching